Hi, this is Steve Biggs of Boatshed Norfolk. On board a 1973 Broom European 35. This is the interior, this is the aft cabin we're starting with. It's fair to say this boat needs a little bit of TLC, nothing desperate that I can see, but a little bit of varnish where condensation has run off the windows. As you can see at the back here. I think some of the electrics are a mystery. We sold it to the current owner a year or so ago. And the owner hasn't really used it. I drove it down the river, delivered it to his mooring. It drove very nicely. But other than that, I think he just used it as a caravan. Two heads compartments. I believe they're both sea toilets being a sea boat. They're all pretty clean, tidy well presented. There is a survey from 2018 that was last done on the vessel, that is in the boat's paperwork. Stereo. That socket runs off the inverter which is in these cupboards. So nice saloon. Saloon converts to a further berth. It would work as original, she's a 50 year old boat now. So there is little bits of varnishing and woodwork to do, but say to me, I would say very, very light project work. Headlinings are all good. It's worth actually verifying what systems do and don't work because the current owner doesn't really know, he hasn't had really used it, bought it, found out it was a mistake, and never used it. Okay. Twin diesel engines, I believe they're Perkins, but I'll check that and put it in the details. Galley down arrangement. Nice size galley. Off to starboard. What's unusual about this is the wide access to the forward cabin makes a nice day saloon, breakfast or dinner area, which is really, really nice. Obviously also makes it into a twin cabin. Could make a double, but I believe the infill is not with the boat. A little bit of water staining, doesn't smell damp. I think it's condensation running off the windows, which is common for boats of this era. So, pretty light work really. Forward heads. Again, very presentable. So a little bit of varnishing, a little bit of cleaning, and maybe a little bit of electrics. Other than that, a very nice example of a Broom European especially at the price it's up for. Lastly, the flybridge, access to the rear cabin, good clean floors, helm to port, other seating to starboard, good hood over the top, folding windscreens, so she will traverse the European canals quite easily. VHF radio. If you'd like what is a huge amount of boat for the money, Broom European, 35 from 1973. Please contact me, Steve Biggs, at bowshednorfolk.com. Thanks for watching.